Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fifth video as part of the Power of Reporting series. And this video is part two of our Daybook Reporting Technique. So in the last video, we saw two very interesting and very useful technique. One is to view the listing of your transaction as per the sequence of entry. And also we learned how you can use your preferred voucher to be listed in the day book as default listing. So today we will learn more techniques related to day book and see how we can use this technique to analyze your data quicker and in a better way. So let us go to tally and explore more techniques of day book. In the previous video, we learned how to list the transaction in the sequence of your entry. And also we learned how we can change the position index of voucher. That is what we did here. If you notice that we had made sales index position lesser than the contra. So now every time when we are viewing the list of vouchers in the day book, we will always see the first voucher type as sales for any given date. In this video, let us explore more techniques of Daybook because Daybook is one place where we can catch all the vouchers that we have passed in the company. So we also learned that if we want to list all the vouchers for the entire year, very simple way is press F2 and just press spacebar. And when you press enter, Tally will know that what is the first date and the first voucher of entry and also your last date and the last voucher. So if you notice here, you will see that it says the list of vouchers that we are viewing is from 1st of April 2023 to 31st of March 24. And it says there are 18 more vouchers below and also 201 more vouchers on top, which is not visible. If you want to go to the top of the voucher, all you have to do is press Ctrl Home. It will take you to the first voucher. So the first voucher is highlighted here. So we are seeing all the voucher type. Let us say that you want to filter a particular voucher type and view them. So how do we do that? The right hand side button bar has got a lot of techniques that you can leverage on these options that are available. So the first one is Let's say we want to filter only the sales voucher. So click on F4 vouchers. Tally will give you the list of all the vouchers. From here, you just select the voucher that you want to filter it out. So let's select sales and you will observe that Tally is filtered all the sales mm -hmm. voucher for the entire year. So this way you can view only the sales voucher from the list of transactions. If you want to change any other voucher type, again, click on F4 voucher type and we can select say payment voucher and we will get the list of all payment vouchers. And if you want to see the list of all the vouchers back again, click on F4 again and this time you select all items and you will get the entire list of vouchers. Let us explore another very interesting technique which will help you to analyze your data in a much better way. So let me first filter to sales voucher, select sales and this is the list of sales. And if you select any voucher, just select the voucher and press enter. It will take you to the voucher itself. If you observe here in this voucher, so we have party, then we have sales ledger, we have items and also we have tax ledgers escape. Let us say that you want to now see the extract of all this information. An extract will basically give you the summary of each of the component of the voucher for us to do an analysis. So here, if you see, we have three major components. One is the party ledger. The second one is your sales ledger. And the third one is your tax ledger. So if you want to know what is the total sale that we have done to all the customers for the entire year and what is the total sales you have made to the entire parties and what are the total taxes that you have collected. We have this option here where under the columnar, there is this blue color arrow. We are aware now. 
So when you click on this, you will get the related report under this columnar. So we'll go to columnar a little later. The extract, the extract keyboard shortcut is Alt F8. So when you click on extract, you will quickly see that tally is now telling you that the total sales to all the parties 2 crore 14 lakh 23,372 and the breakup of the sales of each of the party for the entire year. We are seeing the report starting from 1st of April to 31st of March. So party wise total you are getting and you are also getting the total sale value and the total taxes that you have collected. So this will be very useful when you want to do a consolidated analysis of any information. So we have just filtered the voucher to sales voucher. You can do this for any voucher type. All you have to do is make sure that you filter the voucher type and you can look at the extract of this information. Let us quickly view the extract of all receipt vouchers. So how do we do that? Click on F4 and all you have to do since we have already in the extract, so just select receipt voucher and automatically tally will give you the extract of receipt voucher without you going and reconfiguring all the information again. So under the receipt voucher, if you see, this is the total money that is received. In HKFC Bank, we have received 1.66 crores. And in State Bank of India, we have received 45 like and odd. And the sundry debtors have paid 1.91 crores. We have also received amount of 10,000 from sundry creditor. And we have taken a loan of 20 lakh. If you want to see the detail, like from which customer you have received how much, or from which supplier you have received money, then you can view this in the detailed format. So for you to view in the detailed format, all you have to do is press Alt F5 and we will see the detail here. So from Amar, Ambika, Prerna, these are the amounts that we have received. And from Sundry Creditors, ABC and Company, we have received 10,000 rupees. And from SBI, we have taken a loan of 20 lakh rupees in the year 23-24. Now you want to go back to the voucher listing. So how do we do that? If you press escape, you will go out of the day book. So we want to stay inside the day book and we want to view the list of vouchers. We had filtered the voucher for receipt. So now again, click on this arrow. Now there is a keyboard shortcut for you to see what are the hidden buttons inside here. So even though the columnar is not active now, there is this blue color arrow that you are seeing, which means there is another button inside which you can execute. And whenever you see the arrow which is grayed out, that means there are no hidden button inside. So if you see the keyboard shortcut in tally, which is the hotkey is one, the letter with bold and blue, which is an hotkey. Then the second type of hotkey is the letter which is bold. The letter could be alphabet, number or even function key. The second one is single underline with bold character where the keyboard shortcut that we use is alt and the underline character. And the third type of keyboard shortcut is a hotkey with double underline. So whenever you see a hotkey with double underline, the keyboard shortcut that we use is control and the underline character. Now for you to see what are the hidden buttons inside this, all you have to do is just hold alt button. When you hold alt button, you will see that the alt action buttons are now visible. When I release alt button, you will see that the detailed button which we saw in the alt command is disappeared. I'll hold alt again. So you will see this detailed here. And even though we are holding alt button, still this blue color arrow is there. So which means there is a button hidden inside which has got a control hotkey. So hold control and when you hold control, you will see now this is visible, which says if you want to see the list of all the vouchers, you have to use control F8 or you click on the blue color arrow and then click on control F8. We will get the list of receipt vouchers. So again, to view the list of all the voucher type, click on voucher type and select all items. We get all the items here. The columnar option I will cover in the upcoming sessions when we are viewing the sales register. But however, you can explore the columnar by filtering a voucher type. 
the columnar option will be enabled only when you filter a particular voucher type when you are seeing all the voucher type the columnar option will be disabled now let us quickly explore couple of more buttons which are here which is going to be again very useful for us to analyze our transaction let's explore basis of value when you click on basis of value the type of voucher entry we are actually seeing all the vouchers now in tally as you are aware we have pure accounting vouchers and we also have pure inventory vouchers and we have integrated vouchers normally you use payment voucher receipt voucher contra voucher which are generally used as pure accounting which means you are going to capture only accounting ledgers in those voucher type and those values gets updated in the financial statement then you have another voucher type which is integrated voucher type so what do you mean by integrated voucher type so as we are aware the tally has accounting module and inventory module so literally tally keeps two sets of books of account one for your accounting transaction and the other one for inventory transaction the integrate inventory option is the one where at the end of any given day or end of the financial period the closing stock value in your inventory book will get integrated into your financial book which will reflect on the credit side of the profit and loss account as your closing stock and the same value gets represented on the asset side under current asset as closing stock so when we are using purchase voucher sales voucher debit note credit note we capture accounting information as well as inventory information the companies where they have enabled inventory the third type of vouchers are pure inventory voucher so what are pure inventory vouchers pure inventory vouchers are those voucher type which you will use in tally and capture information related to inventory only and not impacting the financial books of accounts so what are pure inventory vouchers in tally examples of pure inventory vouchers are delivery note receipt note material in material out rejection in rejection out and finally the stock journal so these are pure inventory transactions which when you are passing any transaction using these voucher types only the inventory books gets updated whereas the accounting book will not get updated now from the list of all the transaction let us say you want to analyze your day book with only inventory transactions let us say you want to see what are the pure inventory transactions that you have captured for the entire year which means basically we are filtering it out so how do we do that so if you see here it says type of voucher entries by default it is going to be always all vouchers just press enter here and you have this option accounting entries only inventory entries only so when you select accounting entries only it will consider the integrated transaction also that is your purchase sales debit note credit note primarily they are considered as accounting vouchers the inventory entries only is a pure inventory voucher which i gave an example of delivery note receipt note stock journal and other voucher type so if you want to see list of pure inventory vouchers all you have to do is just select inventory entries here so the type of voucher entries we had filtered to inventory entries only and here you don't have to save this you can just press escape just press escape and you will see that there are two inventory transactions in this company for the entire year there is one delivery note and then there is one stock journal so this way you can filter from the list of all the transactions accounting entries only and inventory entries also so if you want to bring all the voucher type again all you have to do is again click on basis of value and enter on inventory and just select all vouchers and just press escape we will get the list of all vouchers the next option we will explore is change view so when you go to change view the type of report that we can see under change view is post stated bank transaction companies at times receive post stated check or they issue post stated check from the current date of their transaction 
So if you want to see the list of all the post dated receipts or post dated payments that you have made, you can quickly filter from the list of your day book by selecting this option of changing view and selecting the post dated transaction. When you click on post dated transaction, Tally is going to give you the list of all the voucher type that we have marked as post dated voucher. So all three vouchers here are receipt voucher. So this was a post dated transaction that was accounted on 1st of November. Probably this would have been accounted before 1st of November in the normal date. Let's say on 25th of October, they would have received this check where on 25th of October, you will make the voucher date as 1st of November and mark it as post dated transaction and accounted it. Now, since the company has reached the end of the financial year, so it says that this post dated voucher, which was accounted as on 1st of November has regularized. Similarly, the second voucher also has regularized. Now, if you observe here, even though we are in the financial year 23-24, in this financial year, the company is accounted for a post dated receipt from Amar Enterprises, which was dated 15th of April, which means this entry is made in the previous financial year, marking it as post dated with the date of 15th of April. So we will see all the post dated entries that we have passed in the previous financial year also. So you will see here the instrument date, it says 15th of April and it says it is pending because we have the transaction still 31st of March of the current year and we have not moved to the subsequent financial year. This will automatically get regularized when the normal transaction in the next financial year is passed and when the current date of the next financial year normal voucher is entered on 15th of April Tally will assume that this check would have got deposited and it will automatically change the status as regularized. So here again if you notice that you have regularized voucher if you have lot of vouchers then if you want to see only pending vouchers you can just click on F8 button pending voucher only. When you click pending voucher it is going to show you only those post dated transactions which have not regularized and which are pending as on date. So again show all is going to give you show all and change view again you are going to come back and here you can filter. Supposing let us say you have checks issued post dated and also post dated check you have received and if you want to filter post dated payment voucher or post dated receipt voucher because here when you come to post dated it will list out all the voucher type receipts and payment. Here again when you go to change view now tally has two options do you want to see post dated issued only or do you want to see post dated received only so we have not made any post dated issued if there are any post dated issued vouchers you can filter this to post dated issued when you press escape we will come back to the listing in the next video we will learn more interesting options of exception report and also another very very interesting technique that we will learn in the next video is the applying of filter. So what are the different type of filters that we can apply? We will learn in our next video. I hope these techniques will help you to quickly analyze your data with the focus of the information that you are looking for. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.